Hello everyone and welcome back to Kirby's N Nightmare in Dreamland. I'm DJ Sinbun and this is Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Last time we got to the Butter Building and uh, we beat the first level in that and we actually saw our very first secret. Very exciting, I know. Don't worry, there are more to come in the future. I even think there might be another one in this world, but I could be very wrong. Who knows? We'll see. Um, I guess we'll find out as we go. Man, I really wish I didn't kill Cutter there. Cutter's a nice power to- Ooh, another one. Okay, we're just gonna- Oh man, Cutter, you're so tricky. Introducing game command- <laughs> Game- Game techniques to us while just being you. So, so nice. Such a- Such a good guy. And man, are they giving us a heck of a lot of different power-ups here. Rock and Spike and- Oh man, I can't not get out my asses. Uh, spark and sword. They gave us all like, almost like, <laughs> gave us a heck of a lot of powers. But unfortunately, I think we need sword. Now. Oh, this is good room to use wheels. I'm actually pretty happy we got this. Um, so if I remember right, which I think I do. I could, once again, take everything I say with a grain of salt until you actually see it, because I'm wrong a lot. Uh, but I think this is actually a really cool room to use a wheel in. I think there's actually a couple segments in this room where you ride over spikes. I could be wrong. Or it's just, like, really nice. Yeah, it's just real nice like that. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just hold down the button and go. Ooh, can I do this? Well, I know which side I need to go for now. Uh, we'll do that, and there we go. And we should be able to get that. Not a problem. Ooh, this is a cool move. Um, once we beat this boss, I'll take his power in. One of the coolest powers in this game, in my humble opinion. I believe he gives us suplex. It might be named something different in this game. Um, they seem to rename this, or have like different variations of this power in different games and sometimes powers combine, sometimes are separated, but I believe in this one it is just suplex. And it is a heck of a, heck of a move. And anytime I can, I try to get this one because like, it's just, it's too much fun. And not to mention the boss is pretty easy, so like it's not very hard to get. So let's grab this. Is it just Ooh, backdrop. So, basically suplex. But you get to do cool stuff like that. He's like, it's just wrestling Kirby at the, now. But I don't... Maybe it does have different variations. Okay, yeah, it does. So depending on which way you're holding the directional pad, um, it sort of depends on which way he does his backdrop. Which is sort of neat. But that's going to be it for that level. Let's continue on as we do. Man, I wish it could get higher than three so I could show it off. There's actually a really cool thing they show off if you get one. It's another power-up. Which is extremely rare in the game, and I think there's only in here like two or three times. But a really good power-up, so like it, it's understandable why it's only in the game a couple times. I'm getting rid of uh, backdrop right there. Um, I know I like to use it a lot, but I just have this feeling that it's not the power-up I need right now. Oh, and here we just have to wait for the smoke to clear. I actually think there is a secret in this level. I'm actually pretty certain there's a secret in this level. Although, I can't really remember. Oh yes, that's right. This is, this is the level that the doors are the same on both sides and you go to whatever's on the other side. Yeah, that's right, it mirrors itself, which is interesting. But we're gonna keep burning for now. Pick up what we can. Ooh, yes, that's what I like. I like jumping right into the spikes. How did the game know? Must have some sort of psychic powers. <laughs> but it's a good thing I like maximum tomatoes even more. So let's, oh man, that was really close. He almost got me. But yeah, something, something's telling me, like, Justin, there is 
a secret in this level. But maybe I'm wrong. I think I'm thinking of another foggy section because there's another time I think they do that. And in that level, there's a secret. We'll find out right now. Okay, yeah, so it's not until later. I think this is high jump. Yep. We need that for the boss, so... Be sure you know where it is. Also, tornado. Tornado for the boss is pretty good, but, like, high jump's where it's at. Now, before we go up, let's make sure there's nothing up here. Nope. So let's continue on our way. Oh man, we got one of these, another, another one of these Meta Knight mini bosses. I really don't care for these very much, um, but at least, at least you can do them fairly quickly. Not as quick as some of the other mini bosses, uh, because let's get real, they are so quick. It would be a lot better if I knew how to float <laughs> with any, with any skill. That's the other thing with those purple guys. They don't take one hit, they take multiple hits. With most weapons. Which is a bit of a bummer, but like... Like it doesn't take that long. Let, let me make that very clear. Nothing, none of these mini bosses in this game should take you very long. Except for maybe Burning Lion, because Burning Lion is like a nightmare. I like getting all these, like, one-ups that I just do not need. Oh man, still not getting very good. I think... <laughs> I'm gonna say... Well, because I remember a time when I all I would get is, like, ones. I could get one, I could get two on, like, you just tell me which one you want, I'll get it for you. Um, but, like, it's been a little while run through this because while well, we have the uh, invincibility because well we can although I really like freeze we're just gonna continue on your invincibility also lasts as long as you as long as you're uh, flashing that seems to be overlooked a lot of times I find even by the game um, so this is bonkers this is the hammer mini boss um, he's really important, and with that one terrible, terrible level, you'll get very good at him uh, pretty quickly. Um, I haven't played in, I haven't played against him in God knows how long, so I'm a little rusty. But you get to the point where like you just take him down like so quick, like it just doesn't even matter. Um, so hammers, are, hammer, in my opinion, might be like the best power up in the whole game. Um, it can destroy these wooden stakes, which often lead to power-ups. Um, there's also a number of times where you need it to, uh, get to secrets. It also destroys those steel blocks that we were able to destroy with, uh, the burning power-up. So, like, there's a couple different uses to it, and the way Kirby swings it, you can just cover a lot of ground with it. So, like, it's super helpful. So if you can, hang on to it when you got it, because you don't know when the next time you're going to find it is. And sometimes getting back to those bosses, um, like that bonkers, uh, can be a little difficult. If, especially since, like, that bonkers was right at the end of the level. So you'd have to go through the whole level just to get to him so you could have this power up. So it's not exactly the most ideal situation. Um, luckily, like I said, there there's one of those mini boss doors later on. Oh, this is where that secret door is. It's right above that cannon. So yeah, I was thinking of this this area. I don't think it's a secret, but like I knew there was another one that's a little trickier to get to. Now, I think with yes, there's a secret door here. There we are. And we need to do this quick, so we just fall, get over here, should be in a button. Yep, there we go. And that gives us another star race, uh, which should be level two since I haven't turned off the game yet. Um, maybe we'll do that depending on how long it takes me to beat this level. Oh man, those, hammers, those stones almost took me right out. And then there's another area just like this one uh, where there's a, 
another secret, but I, like I said, I don't believe it's in this one. Or at least, if it is, I'd be really surprised. Um, I'm actually gonna take this power up here. Um, so this power up has no, like, meaning to it other than, uh, to light up a room. It d gives you no power up, like, damaging power up at all, which sucks a little bit, but, like, if you don't... It's nice to see. That's what it comes down to. It's nice to see. Um, and I know the next time, if it's not in this one, it's the next time we see one of these rooms, um, that there's a secret in it. And I think I remember where it is, but, like, it's one of those things where, like, I could, I could be very wrong. I'm, oh, man, I really want that. Oh, well, we'll just, we'll just pop up. That's not a problem. With these, uh, you can only go one way, so if you can, um, it doesn't matter so much on that one, but later on, uh, there's ones where it's like, you can get a one-up, so you can sometimes, uh, sneak your way up, sneak your way and see what's in there before you, uh, actually get in there, so that's sort of nice. Oh man, so close to one, so close! Not that I need the one-ups, but like, it's nice to know that I can still get there if I really wanted. Um, you know what? We're gonna defeat the boss real quick. Oh, this is not the boss I thought it was. Um, this is really the wrong power-up, but, like, whatever. Although, as you can see, I did do a significant amount of damage to him. But this is not my preferred power-up for these guys. These are one of the, uh, ones I actually have a little trouble. Not trouble with the boss, but, like... Picking a power up for them, I think I is more my issue. I think it, I think it's Parasol I generally use, um, just out of sheer fact that I enjoy Parasol. And I'm, I think it shields you from uh, those stars that um, the moon drops down. But like that, not so difficult. Let's pick up the Star Rod one more time, and we can finish off that world. I think the next one is actually uh, Green Grapes or. Great grapes? Something like that. Grape garden! That's it. I knew it was something grape. I know six is orange ocean. I know that. Um, because that world, that world sucks. Um, but I think that's going to be it for today. Um, next time we're going to be continuing on and doing grape gardens. And until then, I've been DJ Sin, but this has been Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. And I'll see you next time for, well, more of this. Bye.